Welcome back to the channel, guys. Today, what we're gonna be- Oh, oh my god. No, no, the problem no is you know what the problem is? That you haven't gotten the Black Friday pack yet. We've been chopping the chaser doors up into all these little pieces here. And don't worry, the edges will be nice and chafed because we're gonna be signing and numbering them in these packs. The pack comes with one of our insulated water bottles. It also comes with a 10 mil keychain, a random flight tag, and a random engine sticker. But the best thing is, is that the first 50 orders, we're throwing in free Linus Tech Tip screwdrivers. And they are Semit Pink Edition. And when we run out of the pink ones, we've also got some stubbies. So head to Semit.net right now to grab the Black Friday pack. I wanted to do something different this year and do a pack instead of just a blanket sale. And that way, you guys have the chance of getting over $150 USD worth of stuff for only 50 bucks. Good job, man. I think we got everyone pretty good with that. I think so. Yeah. 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 Let's see if they know who I am without seeing my face. I think they know who you are. <laughs> what is going on? What did you do? Oh, I thought it was a Subaru. Open the door. Yeah. Oh my, I didn't even... Wait, my K-Van has an alarm? What? When, when did that become a thing? Wait, it's locked. Oh, did you use the key instead of the button? Yeah. Oh, that, that's probably what, but I didn't even know this had an alarm. That's weird. <laughs> Worried me for a bit. The Stagia engine bay came out so good. It looks incredible. I'm glad we went to all the effort of getting that done. And now we gotta sort through all of this. In case you don't follow me or the Summit HQ Instagram, we have officially announced the Stagia winner, uh, Jason in Texas. And I'm really excited to get this thing finished so that it can go to him. But uh, yeah, as you can see, we still got a fair bit to get done. And uh, we have some special guests from Australia to help us with that. You guys should remember Ben. He helped out with the 200SX. He's already trying to fab up some intercooler piping and whatnot for the R33.4. So we should have that thing done this week as well, which is awesome. Um, and Loki and, and Ben K are upstairs right now messing around on the sim. We'll talk to them in a little bit. But as you guys remember, I was not happy with this engine. Turned out it was a DE plus T. I'm not okay with that. So we picked up a fresh RB25 DET Neo that came out of an all wheel drive Gloria. It's just got the all wheel drive oil pan and we're about to go to Meiku and uh, get one of the ones that have been modified where they cut off the diff housing, just like the one that we put in the 33.4 Skyline. Um, these are like the move to get a Neo right now. The real wheel drive ones are just ridiculously overpriced. So these ones you can still get for a really good deal. Anyways, doing that, doing a full timing service, seal kit and everything. So this thing is good to go. Obviously stock 25s, they make pretty good power and they're really reliable. Um, once you go, I think above 500, you need to think about uh, 4Gs, but Gonna keep it stock turbo and everything like that. Super nice OEM kind of plus build going into the stage here. We have a brand new wiring harness from the guys over at Wiring Specialties. And of course, we're gonna be putting a plug-in link ECU on it. So I'm really excited about that. And uh, this thing is gonna look amazing. So this is gonna be happening kind of in the background around all of our other projects and stuff like that. And we'll just touch in from time to time and give you guys an update. But we should be able to have this thing pretty much ready to run um, back on the road in no time. You'll have to bear with me too. I'm sure you can hear it in my voice, but I'm just recovering from a pretty nasty cold that we caught from Hugo. Um, having kids is awesome, but when they start going to daycare, they bring home everything that anyone else has. And uh, generally when you catch a cold or something off your child, it tends to hit you way harder than it would if you caught it off another adult. At least that's what the doctors over here told me, and I don't know if that's true, but. A while ago, you guys might remember, we bought this really cheap welder, and it actually worked really, really well and helped us get a lot of the work done with the abandoned S15 in the rear end. I upgraded to a bigger model, which has a lot more functions and all that kind of stuff. This thing's awesome. It also takes a five kilogram roll. And uh, we were playing around with that and that, getting that dialed in. And then at the same time, I got myself my first TIG machine. Now, I didn't spend too much money. Um, I actually just contacted the, the company or the factory or whatever in China through Alibaba. And I ordered these. I think this, that, 
and a ton of like, we got a couple five, like a five kilogram roll of wire and all that kind of stuff and a bunch of consumables for it. Whole thing was like $800 USD shipped. So you're probably thinking that these are not good welders and I don't know, I really don't. Um, honestly, the, the MIG's pretty good, so can't complain there. And this, don't know yet, we haven't fired it up. So we'll get this thing fired up. Right now, the torch though is a trigger torch. It's a button but we've ordered a Furic cup set and I have a pedal on the way for this, which just plugs in right there. So I'm pretty excited. And Ben's obviously a really good welder. And what do you think of the MIG? Was it pretty good once you got the setting yeah, dialed? Yeah, pretty good. We just we were mixing in a few different wrong metals and, and stuff like that. So we- Oh yeah, we were trying to weld with stainless yeah, on like on mild, mild steel. And stuff, so it, was, it was doing all right, but yeah, we'll kind of get it dialed in real good once we kind of- Get the mild steel wire. Yeah, once we got it planned in the right field that it's meant to be planned in. Yeah. But I think it'll be a good little welder. Yeah, no, it'll be great. It'll be anything wrong. Anything's better than this thing. I mean, this thing did great, but that thing has more amps and it's just a lot better. And it feels a lot better. We also got a wider tip for it too. So it's a little easier. But yeah, anyways, I don't know. It's finally gotten cold enough that we get to have our little uh, Japanese heater here with the good old yakan. That's uh, what they call a kettle in Japanese. It's a funny word. So Ben, Ben K and Loki are all gonna be here for about a week or so. They'll, they'll probably head back to Australia sometime next week. And with Ben here, it obviously means we're gonna probably get a lot of the cars done at the shop. But I wanna hang out with my friends. So we are going to go to Big Bang and smash doors. Look how serious he is. Bro. Yeah, it's 100% Bunta. 100%. And then this is the guy he's training right now. Look at his face. Look how they hold the wheel. Well, this is a first for me. That's a love hotel, like a Jurassic Park dinosaur love hotel. And this is a pirate ship one. And uh, this is apparently where Loki and Ben and everyone staying. Pirates Hotel, Hotel Atlantis. Wait, they have a shark bed and a clam bed? It's kind of wild. So when you guys booked this, did you know it was a love hotel? Okay, Ben booked it. I didn't know it was a love hotel until we got here. Uh, and I ended up vlogging it when we drove down the highway. Like, oh look, there's a pirate boat for a, a building. Yeah, we're staying here. It was your hotel. Yeah. <laughs> I still can't get over the shark mouth. Wait, do you guys have that room? No. <laughs> oh my gosh, they themed it out. It's like coins everywhere. Oh, there's a treasure box. Wait, is there gonna be something? I thought there was gonna be like yeah, condoms they in there. Like oh yeah. Money. They're like, they're like, yeah, they're 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 they weighted, pressed. Yeah. Oh. oh my gosh. Oh yeah, the building is actually shaped like a boat, so it makes sense. This is, this is a pretty nice room. Bro, we got a fish tank for a coffee table. Oh, it's actually a fish tank? Yeah. That's super cool. Sorry for invading your uh, little hotel space, but okay. that's pretty cool. Yeah, nice. nice big TV. TV we should, um, we should go get the black light from the shop and come back. <laughs> I have a black light. We used it on the Yakuza crown. I think I'll be Why is there a GTRC? <laughs> Yeah, yeah, no, we, we freaked the um, lady out because she came in and Ben's is carrying like 32 GDRCs. So I've got my steering wheel. Oh man. To be fair, I don't think I've, I've like, like I've never accidentally stayed in a love hotel, but I've like, there's not a single person that's come to Japan that I know of that hasn't accidentally stayed well, in one. You gotta do it. You gotta do the maid cafe. You gotta do the love hotel. You gotta do all that weird, funky, wild stuff that you, you see 
coming from Japan. This is an experience. It is an experience for sure. I'm wondering what's behind those doors though. Is that just oh, the yeah. window? This is great. This is legit great. You wake up in the morning. Oh my God, it's a, it's, what? It's actually around. That is hilarious. Oh, I'm not getting up there, that, but that is, that is so <laughs> funny. Oh my gosh. Yeah, that's pretty crazy. This is pretty cool. It's a little hotel fridge, but it's actually a vending machine built into it. You got like, uh, you know, some beverages, some chew highs, some beers, and then the the bottom row here is um, things for what this hotel's meant for. Anyways, that's kind of interesting. There you go. My very first love hotel tour with my friend Loki. <sighs> oh god. That's cool. Sorry, mate. Okay, this lobby is wild. Oh, it's all touch screen, so you just order the room on the touch screen? Oh, wait, that's how many are occupied right now? Is that happening above us? <laughs> I wonder if there's going to be some kind of intellectual property issue with that. There's no way they've paid, like, Disney any money for that. They've got Pirates of the Caribbean playing in the lobby there, so... <laughs> There's no way they have the licensing for that. <laughs> it's the next day and we're at like our local shopping mall slash train station. We got May out, you go. I'm feeling a lot better now, but mask on so that I don't get anyone else sick. Unfortunately, Hugo's already sleeping. There's some kind of performance happening over here too. Looks like this group's called Jam and Zep. It's pretty cool. They sound pretty good. English too. Got a fair few fans. Quick stop at Mr. Donuts. Getting our sugar fix. How cute are these Snorlax Pokemon themed uh, and side up to donuts. So cool. Oh my gosh, mate. <laughs> you were craving donuts that much? You're not pregnant again, are you? <laughs> Dad life. This guy's still going strong over there too. I think he's still sleeping. Yeah. Got the donuts, got the goods. Go home. Let's go home. <laughs> I can't believe it's so cold right now. Look at this crowd. All the jackets. The guys have been performing for a while. We are back home now and I'm feeling the best that I've felt all week. It's been so hard to film any kind of vlogs for you guys just because I've been sick. And then everything else got sidelined when uh, we had a little situation happen and I obviously had to put out a video to clear the air. And on that topic, I do want to say I'm really proud of you guys in this community of how you all handle the situation. It was really encouraging to see that all of you guys were on the same page. But moving forward, we are obviously going to be getting back to our usual routine and content next week. And with Ben, Loki and Ben K helping us, um, we're obviously going to be getting a lot of work done, which I'm excited about. I'm hopeful that we can be back onto the abandoned S15 by the end of this week. There's, there's a possibility that may happen if everything lines up well. Anyways, guys, I hope you enjoyed. Sorry for the shorter video. And I hope you didn't mind me bringing you along for a few things that happened this week in one video. And uh, yeah, it's good to have the homies from Australia here and hanging out with them again. And I will see you all in the next one. Like, comment, share, and subscribe. See you next time, guys. Peace. Welcome back to the channel, guys. Today, what we're going to be... Oh, oh my God. No, no, the problem no is... you know what the problem is? That you haven't gotten the Black Friday pack yet. We've been chopping the chaser doors up into all these little pieces here. And don't worry, the edges will be nice and shaped because we're going to be signing and numbering them in these packs. The pack comes with one of our insulated water bottles. It also comes with a 10 mil keychain, a random flight tag, and a random engine sticker. But the best thing is, is that the first 50 orders, we're throwing in free Linus Tech Tip screwdrivers. And they are Semit Pink Edition. And when we run out of the pink ones, we've also got some stubbies. So head to Semit.net right now to grab the Black Friday pack. I wanted to do something different this year and do a pack instead of just a blanket sale. And that way, you guys have the chance of getting over $150 USD worth of stuff for only 50 bucks. Good job, man. I think we got everyone pretty good with that. I think so. Yeah. 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 Let's see if they know who I am without seeing my face. I think they know who you are. <laughs>